guys, you're welcome. Hope you guys are feeling good. My name is Bukobi BK Crab. So, this transgender woman debates with a Muslim lady over Islam. My name is Blair. I'm a YouTuber. I think I'm best known for sometimes having controversial opinions. And when it comes to Islam, I've definitely been critical of the ideology itself. Islam has played a huge role in my life. It has shaped me to be who I am today. Being transgender definitely shapes my views on Islam. There's not a single Islamic country in the world that I am free to travel to without fear of violence. Most of my day is spent online talking to keyboard warriors and having discussions about their misunderstandings to help them understand a little bit more. Hello. Nice to meet you. Blair. Marwa. Marwa? Yes. It's okay. Nice to meet you as well. Hmm. So, I heard we have different views on Islam. Okay. I believe in religious freedom, but I am wholeheartedly, 100% to my core, against Islam itself. Why? Mm -hmm. Being trans, obviously, Islam isn't my friend. Oh. Um, and obviously, I can see that you're a believer in Islam. Um, so how do you sort of reconcile sort of all the LGBT issues when it comes to Islam? What are your thoughts? Okay, so I believe religion, my own or any religion, should be practiced within the person, the believer, and their God. For me, I cannot be LGBT be because it is a sin for me and my religion, but I personally do not care how other people live their lives. I think Christianity has sort of gone through its reform and you don't really see that type of brutality anymore. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to Islam, it seems like, especially in the countries where it's codified into law, when it comes to women's rights, when it comes to trans rights, gay rights, not only are there really none, uh, they actually are second class citizens in all those countries. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it is a huge misconception to say all those countries. A lot of the misconceptions stem from Saudi Arabia because they are a more extreme country in regards to Islamic law and, and beliefs, uh, which is ironic because Saudi Arabia is America's ally. And I am completely against because it goes against my values as an American. I think um, you're being a bit generous saying it's really just those few countries when in fact there are 10 countries where being gay in the Middle East all Islamic countries is punishable by death. It really just comes down to regimes. Even in America, when we have the right wings trying to push, you know, Christianic law on us, you know, no abortions and all this stuff, it stems from someone misinterpreting. Well, I mean, quite frankly, I would disagree. The Quran is very, very clear on the treatment of gay people. Um, there's a passage about how gay people should be rained down with brimstone and fire, and that's, mm. you know, clearly stoning and then when you get to countries where you know it's culturally accepted to stone gay people i think that's directly pulled from the quran that's the way that they have skewed religions i mean that's what isis is doing they're taking passages they're taking beliefs and they're like this is what this means we kill everybody and then it's like what the hell no i think that one of the things in the election that really spoke to people was trump's promise to keep ideological extremism, religious extremism, and Islam as an ideology as it manifests in other countries mm -hmm. that aren't Western um, out of our nation. And so then when I think of the fact that it is in the Middle East culturally demanded to follow a lot of those ugly passages, um, I would say that there is definitely more extremism among Muslims and Christians. Oh. I don't disagree with you. Um, Muslim countries, have never really been free, whether it was colonization from a Western world, which all of them have gone through, and then put in place these regimes right after. So it's just been like a constant struggle. Yeah. On top of that, the Middle East has been bombed insanely by America for years. So what happens is America comes in and blows this family up and this little boy is like, what the F? And then he's like, America did it. So he joins this terrorist group. And that's the problem. Oh. I'm absolutely not justifying the action. I'm just trying to give some insight on what pushes someone to get to that point. Yes. Based on who we are and what we believe, we both face people being ignorant and people absolutely. not fully understanding, not attempting to understand, and putting us in boxes, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and um, I'm sorry for what you've 
had to go through. Absolutely, oh, and I'm, I'm hoping likewise. that there's change. And I, I hope that people like you and I can engage in dialogue with each other more often to find our commonalities and understanding. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Can I have a hug? Hugs, yes, hugs. Yes. So nice meeting nice you. That's nice it. You. The conversation was great, as opposed to online debates, I think in person and sitting across from someone definitely harbors more civility. I don't think Blair has a really correct idea of, of what Islam. Islam is. I think if she became friends with more Muslims and gave them a chance, that it would be better for her. She didn't change my opinion, but I gained more uh, respect for her point of view, for sure. You can imagine what she said at the end of the video that she didn't change her opinion. So her opinion still stands when it comes to Islam, but at least she will give them respect because she never had respect for Islam. There was also the misconception out there about Islam. And based on the fact that she's a transgender woman, so she believes that, you know, as a transgender, there are some things that Islam does not accept. So because of the things she has heard that if you do these, they will do this to you in Islam, if you do that, if you do that. So that's why she had a lot of misconceptions. She has a lot of mindset about Islam that made her not to, you know, go into the religion because she felt that a type of person, they will not accept her because she's a transgender woman. And, you know, apart from that, she read it in the Quran, which they, 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 is, is as if they were not welcomed in the in the religion and this muslim lady to see light to it why all those things were wrong about islam and made her understand that islam is peaceful well things like that might happen when you do something bad to someone you can't expect that person to just calm down they want to retaliate right but apart from that if you relate with them peacefully they relate with you peacefully it's a very peaceful religion well she understood it she said she didn't change her point of view because maybe because of what she read in the quran that's why everything the muslim lady did not change her point of view but she accepted the fact that okay fine islam you know it's not as bad as what she thinks it is but that was a beautiful one let me know your point of view guys i'll see you guys in the next one